In the next two weeks, I want you to do a little individual project using Microsoft Access. Use your book for a resource. It is a great book and it has all that you will need to know and much more when it comes to Access. But do you need to know everything there is in that Access book? I am an expert certified in Access, but I don't profess to know everything there is. What you need to do is accomplish the objectives of the assignment and get the job done. Please note that the assignment is somewhat vague. This is typical in the business world. Construct a simple database using a few tables that are normalized to track inventory at a college bookstore is your main objective. If you have had CIS 430, you should know what database normalization is. Regardless, I will post a PowerPoint explaining normalization next week. Here is the problem. Too much inventory and we incur holding cost. Not enough inventory, then our customers may go elsewhere. Thus, we must know and understand what the EOQ formula is. EOQ is the economic order quantity which is the level of inventory that minimizes total inventory holding cost and ordering cost. It uses a maximum and minimum point. For example, if we were selling Treasure Island, by, written by Sir Robert Louis Stevenson, uh, just a wonderful author, if we were actually inventorying this book, we might decide that five books on hand is the absolute minimum we want. Uh, when we hit five books or less, uh, we set off a flag and we must reorder immediately. On the other hand, if we have 20 books or over 20, we potentially have an overstock uh, situation. Therefore, we might want to keep that inventory value below 20. So our maximum is, is 20 and the minimum is five. We would take those points and actually compare them to uh, our inventory levels that are on hand. Thus, you have been asked to develop a database that tracks book inventory and compares the inventory to maximum and minimum quantities. So here are some of the requirements. It must be easy and simple to use. Security is not a necessity, and you really shouldn't be worried about security at all. And that is letting people get into the tables and uh, manipulate data and so forth. No, we're not concerned at all about uh, security. However, we must have a report that shows inventory levels and alerts managers if excesses or deficiencies based on the maximum or minimum points are realized. Another thing that you want to incorporate in there is a splash screen. Again, if you don't know how to do these things or calculate a, uh, a field uh, in Microsoft Access, I'll sort of put a forum up and, uh, and, and keep you apprised of certain things, but it's incumbent upon you as an independent learner to get the book out, the Access, the Microsoft Access book, and to read it. Here's how you should actually tackle this project or many other projects uh, that you're going to deal with, which is actually using the system development lifecycle orientation. A couple of things that you'll need to know, content, design, program, test, and implement. These are like, I think, some of the main features uh, that you have to be concerned with in uh, developing any sort of a small project. One of the things that you're going to have to sort of look at are what entities are you going to use. Entities are the tables in your database. I would say no more than three or four. Remember, uh, a table or an entity is those contain logically related uh, fields. So, uh, you know, bone up a little bit on normalization and I think everything will be okay in that area because you want to keep like a books table 
uh, which has the uh, ISBN numbers. Those are some of the things that you're going to be concerned with as far as content. And then you're going to want to be able to know what your fields are, what fields are going to go into each of those uh, tables. Again, they should be logically related. Then you're going to actually be able to design the database by making an ER diagram in Microsoft Visio, and you'll be able to establish those uh, relationships between the tables. And when you actually get down to programming, you're going to be creating from that ER diagram the database in Microsoft Access. You're going to be able to uh, construct forms to input your data. You're also going to construct queries to mine the data uh, that you need for your reports. Normally what I do is I make the queries and then base the report off of the query. More about that in a forum that we'll post. If you have questions, you can post your questions there. And then we'll have students, other students, answer those questions. If students can answer those questions, you get bonus points. Okay, anyway, another thing that you're concerned about or should be concerned about is this uh, accounting equation to be able to calculate ending inventory. So essentially what you do is you have beginning inventory plus the purchases that you make equals the total available for sale. And then less what you've sold yields your ending inventory. So that, in a nutshell, is really what you're trying to accomplish in your, in your database. And then finally, you'll just beta test your uh, Microsoft Access database. All what you really need are three to five books. Yeah, if you want to do five books, that's fine. But, you know, no more than that. And when you're actually beta testing the database to get it to work, you might only want to use one or two. But I'd like to see, yeah, between three, at least three to five books working, calculate the ending inventory.